I give you the oyster. It might seem an unassuming little mollusk, but this precocious little bivalve can filter up to one gallon of water an hour. That might not seem like a lot, but just think what would happen if you put a billion of these into this. That's exactly what the folks at the New York Harbor School, located on Governor's Island, are trying to do with the Billion Oyster Project. Well, the goal is to restore a sustainable oyster population into New York City and in the process connect hundreds of thousands of young people and educate them about the ecology and the history of New York Harbor through hands-on restoration-based education. Restoring one billion oysters by 2030 is an ambitious goal, but one that could have huge environmental benefits. The actual standing volume of New York Harbor was 74 billion gallons. And if adult oyster filters one gallon of water an hour, one billion oysters would be 24 billion gallons of water a day which means that theoretically the standing volume in New York Harbor would be filtered once every three days. Oysters are a keystone species. So unlike other shellfish, oysters build their own habitat. So they grow on top of each other and um, build these large reefs that, that provide all the habitat for different animals. Um, so in, in New York Harbor, they were the backbone of the ecosystem. So by putting them back, you create the opportunity for all these other animals to, to come back. The students at the New York Harbor School are the real muscle behind the project. They learn everything about maritime careers from aquaculture to seamanship. Working in this environment opens the students up to careers they might not have otherwise considered. In everything we do, we th try to think about how um, best to engage young people in the work. New York City and urban centers on the water everywhere have a problem with the youth not being engaged in the waterway and not having access to or any understanding of the real career pathways that exist. New York City is an excellent example. The port employs 300,000 people, and only 12% of them went to public school in New York City. So there's a fundamental disconnect between young people in the city and, and the water. And by working with the public school system, we have access to students from all different socioeconomic and cultural backgrounds who all can come together and work together on this one project. And they learn how to use some pretty intense diving gear. Today, they are diving at a spot called Buttermilk Channel to install an underwater camera and other instruments to monitor the oyster reef remotely. Dive into the water. We have like five feet of visibility down here. It's amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful. In the years since the project's start, it's estimated that students have reintroduced over 11 million oysters. But in the larger scheme of things, the goals are already being met. If we put a billion oysters into the water and educate hundreds of thousands of young people and after 20 years there's not a sustainable oyster population but learning about New York Harbor and getting experience on the water and engaging in the rest restoration of the harbor is a reality for all those young people and we still call that a win.